always watching movies and I loved all of the characters I was seeing, but more often than not, they were guys. Um, it was, you know, a boy's coming of age story. It was a boy going on an adventure. And as a young girl, I wanted to see girls going on adventures. I didn't just want to see princesses. I was never really into princesses. Um, and I wanted to see a young female character who was weird and different and didn't fit into any of the typical boxes. She wasn't a cheerleader, she wasn't an athlete, she wasn't a nerd, she wasn't, she wasn't any one thing. There's a war raging on our planet. If this criminal isn't found, that war may find its way here. Is there anyone that can help you? Do you have a family? Oh, who would be? She's not your typical girl. Um, and that's what I loved about Haley is that she, she can play being a tomboy without being boyish. She's still very feminine and still very much a girl. And that's something that, that I think is important for girls to see. I think too often female characters are delineated into like tomboy and, you know, girly girl. And she, for me, had something lovely about her because she's got this real mix of beauty and femininity and also like a real tough edge. Um, so I was thrilled. I was thrilled that they cast Haley. They're calling an army. I've seen firsthand these things really are. Bumblebee, there is only one way to end this war. You must protect Earth and its people. Michael Bay in the last five films has created such a close bond between Optimus Prime and Bumblebee and the audiences. And that's really what this movie is feeding off of. Although it's a smaller standalone movie, it's built on that relationship that Michael Bay has created between the, you know, the cinema going public and Bumblebee. It's based on that love and it's kind of being born out of that. So even though it's a separate, small prequel, it's very much feeding off of that and going on its own separate path.